Good morning all, Suburban Sentinel here coming to you once again from very deep inside the Arabian Peninsula. And it is just a few minutes after sunrise and those rays are already a killer. Anyway, uh, welcome back to our mini-series entitled Aftermath, in which we examine some real-life prepping, survival, and defense situations and see what, if anything, we can learn from them. Uh, this particular scenario involves yours truly, and the background is as follows. This summer, my wife and I spent several weeks touring the nation of Italy, a wonderful country. However, one of the inconveniences or downsides is that many parts of Italy are rife with illegal aliens from North Africa and the Middle East. And make no mistake, for the most part, these people are scumbags. They are not really there to contribute. They are there to beg, steal, and somehow or other live off the largesse of the Italian government and the Italian people. I know that's politically incorrect, so turn off the video right now if your head's going to explode. Uh, anyway, we had been putting up uh, with these illegal aliens for, again, several weeks, and I was getting pretty darn sick of it. Not only does the Italian government encourage this uh, by way of its navy, somehow the Italian navy became a ferry service uh, from North Africa to Europe. I don't know the, how that happened. Uh, and the government, once these people are there, just kind of turn them loose. And even more unbelievable and worrisome is that private citizens just kind of, for the most part, ignore it. Um, they won't even throw these people who are begging or trying to steal from uh, their customers or their guests uh, off the property. They are like basically pigeons, something that you just have to put up with. So that's the background. We were in South Central Italy towards the end of our trip, and my wife wanted to do some clothes shopping. I can't even remember exactly where we were. Uh, but anyway, while she went to do her thing, uh, I went to an outdoor cafe that are ubiquitous throughout Italy uh, to drink some coffee and watch the world go by. And I was there uh, in the cafe, or in the outdoor cafe, for a while, and of course, one of the North African beggars came by. Now, I made a habit of sitting towards the middle of the cafe because the beggars tend to work their way around the perimeter of the outdoor seating areas. Uh, but this guy was particularly bold, and he was walking through uh, the tables and chairs throughout the cafe. I, that turned me off immediately. And when he stopped at my table, I had my standard answer, which uh, was and is, no, go away. Uh, except he wouldn't take no for an answer. I'm not sure why. This was the, the first time I really had any uh, possible trouble. Once you say no, go away, they move on. Um, maybe it was because of the clientele. Uh, this was near the... Uh, the, the women's clothes uh, shopping district. So in the cafe, it was mostly ladies and just a couple other guys and myself. And maybe this guy figured, oh, you know, this big uh, white looking guy here, if I can uh, scare him into giving me money, maybe uh, these ladies will open up their wallets. So he was pretty insistent. And then he came around behind me, which I was not going to put up with at all. And then he said something like, uh, you have something for me, give me some money. And uh, I stood up at that point and I said, I have nothing for you, get lost. Curiously, his response was yelling, no, you get lost. And then he took one, maybe two steps backwards and pulled a small knife out of his pocket or waist. And at that point, uh, the switch in the little lizard brain here flipped. And I went from being calm, alert, 
to homicidal. And I remember grabbing a full bottle of olive oil, one of those big Paul bottles, off the table and raising it over my shoulder and then commencing an attack on him. And then, to be honest with you, the next 25, 35, something like that, those seconds are lost. I have no recollection of what happened. I must have been in target fixation mode. But when I finally snapped out of it, uh, I was a good 60 yards away from the cafe. And apparently, this guy had beat feet from the cafe, and I had chased him. Well, fortunately, he was much younger and much more fit than I, and I had absolutely no chance of catching up to him. But when I finally you know, got myself together and realized where I was and what I was doing, uh, all the people on the street in the vicinity had come to a dead stop, and they were staring at me, and I still had the bottle of olive oil in my hand. And it was like waking up from surgery. You have no recollection at all. Now, I'm perfectly comfortable with the fact that I grabbed a weapon. I'm also comfortable with the fact that I went on the offensive. I'm sure that had I put the son of a bitch in the ground, I would have no moral or ethical regrets. The problem is more legal in nature. Uh, clearly, when I was in attack mode, at least for part of it, this guy was retreating. And had I caught up to him, I'm sure I would have been in some really big trouble with the Italian authorities. Now, I'm usually pretty calm, cool, and collected. I try not to let situations get away from me. I always try to keep thinking. But in this case, I just flat out failed. And I'm not sure why. And it really does bother me that I was not able to keep it under control. Maybe it was because I was tired of dealing with the beggar thief immigrants. Maybe I was just grumpy because we had been on the road for so many weeks. Maybe it's just because of advancing age. I'm not sure. But it does bother me that in this case, I was not able to keep the little lizard brain here in check when I really needed to. So that's the story. And again, I'm not sure what to do. I really spend a lot of time thinking about the situation and trying to find ways that if this repeats itself in some way, I don't lose it and go into attack mode and not think anymore. So let me know what uh, all of you think out there. Perhaps some of you are psychologists, psychiatrists, and have much more insight uh, than I. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is the Suburban Sentinel. Uh, please thumbs up, uh, share, and subscribe if you like what you see. Questions, enlightening comments, and differing opinions are always welcome. Be safe out there, everybody.